I am so excited for today. This one's tiny. Our tricycle, we love these. We keep hitting our head. Well, my head is on the roof. Okay, so the boat will go there, and then you can all together jump into the water. Then all together descend, okay, directly to the Manta Point. Drift in, directly to the Manta Point, okay. And then after the end of the dive, you can go ascend, all right. And then uh, make sure you can uh, have a safety staff procedure. I am so excited for today. Me too. You saw that in the awesome map Rodel was drawing for us and explaining. It got me so excited. Crazy Sam got certified, scuba certified yesterday, and we're doing an advanced dive today. All right, this time they're making us earn this. We're having to walk out to the boat every other time. Is it squishy? <laughs> every other time they come and pick us up at the shore. Uh, of course, we've got mom and the kids with us. Uh, but this is way more fun. We get to earn coming out here. Yeah. This feels like Utah Lake, but a little bit more solid. It's very gross to walk. Squishy. It's like yeah. muddy, which is weird sand. waiting for the Coast Guard to give us approval to take off. They do really well with that here in the Philippines. Every place we've gone on a boat, they always have a Coast Guard person uh, checking each person's name and make sure we're good to go. Get ready, Sam? Yeah. Okay. How are you feeling as we're getting closer? Excited, a little nervous. This is intense! Exciting, though. Probably. Yeah. What makes you nervous? Well, I don't know. It's just an advanced dive. But, I mean, yeah. So, I agree. Yeah. It's kind of crazy, but it was super fun. I agree with Sam. I'm kind of nervous, too. Uh, I've never done an advanced dive. Uh, we did four dives in these last few days. Sam just got certified, so of course let's do an advanced dive. Um, we've been talking to these awesome guys from Germany. It's been so cool. He's done diving all over the world uh, with sharks, hammerheads, even uh, tiger sharks and stuff. Sounds just amazing. But he came here to, to this place. He says this is very famous. And we came for the whale sharks. And of course we wanted the kids to get scuba certified. But to realize we're at one of the wonders of the world here, being able to see the manta rays and this manta bowl and whale sharks. I, we're just so lucky to be here. Oh, I can feel it. Like Grace says, I got, uh, what did she say? Tickles my belly button. <laughs> got a little bit of butterflies in the stomach. This is close to our dive last time. We came just around the corner here is where we went scuba diving uh, and saw that beautiful coral and the fish and all that. Uh, we did those two different dives. He says it's pretty close to the two dives that we did, but now we're gonna go with manta rays and whale sharks here, we hope. Really cool, beautiful area. Hey, we're getting in right here. This is how close we are to the island.
uh, I had just under 500, that's where it's red. And uh, when we got up here, it was pretty low, it was about 50. And I could start to feel the air wasn't coming as much. So it's good that we're up here. Uh, he says, I gotta watch my hair better, uh, especially in the mantle. We saw a bunch of sea slugs. Those are really cool. What else did we see? Sea snakes. Did you see that sea snake slide gliding through the water? That was so cool. Yeah, I saw a lion's fish. Oh, did you? Yeah. I didn't see that. It was right before we went up. And then the stonefish seahorse. Yeah, a seahorse. That's a pretty big seahorse. I was filming a seahorse and they were looking at the stonefish and I didn't see it until they it was scurrying off. Shake it so bad, I'm kind of cold. And then the coral, did you see that big uh, fan? Yeah, that was super cool. That was really pretty. And there were tons of colors of those like brush feather duster looking things. All the others are still in the water. Uh, it's been at least five, four minutes to us so far. We still don't see any sign of them coming up. So yeah. I really went through that air. Yeah, you did. You can see over here kind of the wind and the current hitting each other. I'll show you the waves right over here. They're pretty big waves, aren't they? Yeah. As you're trying to get in. <laughs> yeah, it's a little difficult. Yeah, you can see back here, that cave is kind of what's down there below us. As we were in the water, it is kind of like a cave like that, where it came, it came up and above us. Tried to capture that with GoPro, but you can see that. Um, we're inside caves like that, now under the water. Glad to find out Sam and I were in there looking for manta rays. That was not the manta ray. Uh, that was just to see the beautiful uh, coral and the, the cliff there, and the amazing life. Now we're going to the manta ray.
this time. I'm gonna breathe a little more calmly. He said also take a big take a breath and just count a few seconds, five seconds, and then be letting the bubbles out a little bit, and then exhale. And take it. Wait five seconds, so hopefully I can conserve this air. He even gave me extra air. Much better with the breathing that time. We went 10 more minutes. I just breathe a lot slower and calmer and uh, exhaled a lot longer. <laughs> Had a better chance of seeing them, but no manta rays. Dang it, I really am disappointed. Yeah, sad. Been incredible. Keep getting splashed, huh? Yeah. <laughs> These are big waves. Yeah. first dive was right, remember when we got to San Miguel Island? Uh -huh. Right at the very point of that, we dove right there. And so, uh, I'll show you the footage, but there's, there's caves there, and underground, it was under the water, it was kind of caves like that, and it was so cool to wow. get in there, and Sam and I thought this was the Manta Bowl, and I thought, do they come in here like this? No. I was completely wrong. But we would saw a bunch of the small uh, things. Uh, we saw a really cool seahorse. Saw one of those slugs, sea slugs, that was a pretty big one. Beautiful. Cool. Saw a moray eel. Uh, Sam saw a stonefish. I saw it swim off. Um, they look so much like a stone. Uh, I don't think I got footage of that one. But really cool stuff. We saw some great things there. Cool. Then we drove for probably at least an hour, hour and a half out in the open ocean and to this manta bowl. And so you're just out miles, it feels like, from the, the coast. Yeah. And I guess there's a shoal out there. And so there's uh, sand and ground below that uh, is about 20 meters down, mm -hmm. um, 60 to 80 feet. And we dove down there and you hook on and you're at the edge of the manta bowl where they usually are no manta race oh man so it is the way nature is 
how we we're definitely super bummed. That's why we went out to see him. Yeah. But nature, you'll see him sometimes. Sometimes you won't. Um, we love that they do it right here. We'll see you in someday, uh, but it wasn't today.